Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. Uh, let's get started. You know, last week I had somebody ask me what I would do differently if I could go back and start my real estate career all over again. And, you know, I hate questions like that. Like, what a ridiculous question. I can't go back and start it all over again. Uh, but then it got me thinking a little bit. Uh, what did I do right? And what did I do wrong? What do I wish I could correct if I could? So I think we all go through this in our lives. You ever have stuff like this in your life? Oh, gosh, I wish I could go back. And yeah, we can't. But every once in a while, we entertain the exercise, right? So, uh, you know, when I was playing with this, I thought, you know what? What if by sharing it with folks and being transparent, trying, trying is... I don't know why this is so hard for me, but try to be as transparent, open, and honest as I possibly could. If I did, could it possibly help somebody? Could you see yourself in this and make corrections earlier than I did? Maybe. So I thought, well, let's give it a try. So I'm going to take a swing at the pitch this week, and let's see how it goes. I'm going to try to share with you... The, and suspending the rules of ego for the purposes of this call, which is I'm not trying to brag, I'm not trying to big time anybody, I'm not trying to massage my ego, and uh, don't be hating on me, <laughs> right? Reserve your judgment on all the things that I tell you that I did wrong, because there's some pretty ugly stuff in there. Uh, so no ego, no judgment, just trying to be transparent to see who we can help with this. Fair. So I'm just going to run through some of the things um, and maybe offer some observations or two in the process because I know many of you are still in the early stages of your career and that would be like less than 10 years. I mean, don't think, well, no, I've, I've had my license for a year, so I'm not. No, for the first decade, you're in the early stages of your career. I'm so sorry to break that to you. I know so many of you want to experience uh, peak success like right now. You're not going to. The odds of that happening are very small. You're trying to build. And if we can help you uh, take advantage of some good things and stay away from the bad things, then this is worth it. Okay, I, I'm going to start with what I did right. <laughs> it's a pretty short list, it seems. Um, I, no particular order here. They're not in order of importance or building up to the most important thing. It's not that. It's just observations. Uh, I think I believed in me. Now, I don't know whether I really believed in me or I was so arrogant that the thought that I wouldn't succeed it just never occurred to me. Uh, you decide. Uh, but I think one of the main things that I did right in my real estate career was I really believed in me. I never really considered that I wouldn't be successful at this for whatever reason. Uh, and it caused me to be willing to invest in myself and to educate myself and to invest in my career. I just had a strong belief in myself that I would be successful at this. I didn't necessarily know when that was going to happen, but I was pretty sure that it would. I don't know that I should have been pretty sure that it would, but I can remember being pretty sure whether that makes any sense or not. On the wrong side, like I've got two columns here in front of me, the right and the wrong. On the wrong side, gosh, I wish, and this is why I'm such a nag about this, I wish I had treated my business like a business so much earlier. It would have saved me so much heartache and pain. I would have done better so much earlier in my career if I'd only started treating my business like a business. So I say that to you guys all the time, right? And I say things like, if you had a real job, what would you do when you face decisions? When you, if you had a real job, what would you do? Because I so wish that I had had somebody around me at your stage of your career, at that stage when I was there, saying that to me. Well, Mike, 
If you had a real job, what would you do today? How would you handle that situation? Mike, run your business like a business, right? Gosh, I wish I would. If I would have, things would have been, I would have avoided so much pain and frustration so much earlier in my career. Back on the right side, uh, I always worked from an office. I don't know why. I think I was just oriented that way. And I think back when I was getting started 36 years ago, the work from home options weren't really there. I think this is a challenge that that so many of y'all have that I didn't really have. We didn't really have the option of working from home. You couldn't do anything from home. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have a phone in our pocket. Uh, I pretty much had to go to an office to run my business and I'm so glad I did. I think y'all have way too many choices and way too many luxuries and we've been given today more freedom and flexibility than most of us can handle. And so because we've given so much freedom and flexibility, we try to take advantage of it and you're not equipped to do that. You're just not. One of the things that I did right was I always worked from an office and it gave me the structure and the focus and the resources around me to be able to run my business like a business. Working from home, I know almost nobody that can pull this off. I know lots of people that want to believe they can. I, I don't see very many people actually doing it. And if you're one of the people that wants to believe you can, I'm, I'm all for you. I do. A, there's exceptions to every rule, and I do acknowledge that there are people that can pull it off. Just show me your results. And if you can't show me the results, then I'm going to say that maybe you believe in something that's not true. You just want to believe in it. I think one of the things that I always did right was always from day one, I always worked from an office. One of the things I did wrong, uh, we can stay on the wrong side a long time. Uh, I wish I had started investing in real estate so much earlier. So much. Look, it's the power of time, folks. It is the power of time one house a year, just buy one rental property a year, starting now, one a year. You can take the whole year to find the right opportunity and just buy one a year for the next 10 to 12 years. And then let your tenants pay it off. And then in 20 years, you're going to have 10 or 12 paid off properties generating 30 to 40, maybe more, thousands of dollars, 30, 40 thousand dollars a month in debt-free income, and you're going to have millions and millions in net worth if you just start early. Back on the right side, I always dressed professionally, always, I don't know why, but one, the reason why it was the right thing to do is because the credibility in our industry is so low. Consumers think we're a bunch of goofballs, mostly because we are. Uh, we can, our industry can suffer from such a lack of professionalism that when you dress and behave as a solid pro, it shocks people. You differentiate yourself. And when you dress sloppy and you act sloppy and you act immature and you don't invest in yourself, you pretty much go along with what people expect from us. Don't do that. One of the things I always did right was I always put a tie and a jacket on every day for the past 36 years, pretty much every day with few exceptions. And I never dropped my guard in regards to my appearance. I didn't do what I wanted to do. I did what I should do. And that was the right thing to do. It really helped me differentiate myself. I'm going to stop there. Let's stop on the right things today. We can pick back up tomorrow and I'll hit. I got more than enough wrong things to share with you. But how about you? What would you change if you could? And why can't you? Couldn't you change it today? And if you did, wouldn't you be going out there and making it happen for yourself?